Hello and welcome to another Sparkle 5 tutorial. Today I'd like to take you through how to create a blog. Now there are two ways you can have a blog. One is on its own, as uh, its own website, or a blog that's held in another website or part of another website. And the way we can do this is very simple. We're in Sparkle. I have a normal home page set up. It's, this is going to be a, a test site for the beaches of the Caribbean. And I have a blog button set up already. And I'm going to create a blog within this website. So if you can imagine this website is going to be detailed on a one pager perhaps. And within that we're going to create a blog. Now it's very simple also to have that blog without a web page. And, and this is how you do that. So the first thing we're going to do is add a blog page. And we do that by going up to the menu at the top. And you can see there are no existing blogs, so the only option there is a new blog. And we'll just add a blog post. Now there are two pages that it adds. If you look over on the left hand side, it adds a blog post, which is where you start entering your items, information, whatever you want to put on your blog. But it also creates an automatic index page for the blog. And we'll go through this as we proceed. So on the blog post, there are some items predetermined for us. One is the title. And you can click once and basically style this title. And I'm going to leave it as it is because that's what I want. If I click twice, I can see it's actually not a normal title. It has an insert smart field there. And basically that's because this is automatically going to be added to the index page of your blog. So you click again and you can add your title. And this will say, um, this is the first beach in Grenada. I'm not sure what I'm talking about, but we'll go with that. Um, the date is exactly the same. So if, you're, if I click once, I can stylize it. If I click twice, I can see that it's actually an insert smart field. And that's again because it's going to add itself to the index page automatically. Click a third time and I get to edit it. And I'm going to leave today's date. That's fine. I can change some formats if I want to. I'm fine with that. If I click once, I can just say, actually, let's have that slightly bigger. And I'll, then I'll just move it more towards the title and I'll move the blog post text up a little bit as well. So if I click on my log, my index page rather, I can see that my blog has started to appear as an index. Go back to the post. And what we'll do here is we will add some text. Uh, so this is where I start writing all about my trip or the beach. And I'm just gonna make the page a bit longer and stretch this out a little bit, not too much. And we'll close it down a little bit. So this is where you just design your blog page and we'll add our first image. And because we've got some stock images on here, I'm just gonna, nice big image to start with over the text, go to the arrange menu and switch on wrap text back to the style menu and we've got some stock images select and here I've typed in beaches and these are the first beaches that come up and we'll stretch and fill and now we've got some overflowing text doesn't matter that much but there you go now let's assume that I've designed my first page um, how do I get back to the index page well we need to install a little button and we'll just call that back to blog index and again you can just color code it as you want it. it's no big deal here the, the important thing is on click go to blog index now 
I've set the first blog page up. You can see it's part of another website. It's, it's held within, you can see that's the blog section bit there. And here the blog is contained within that section. Let's assume for a minute that I don't want the blog within a website. I just want a blog as a website on its own. Well, let's go to the index page. And top right hand side in the page contextual menu, you can see search and social blog index page. Well, let's turn that to blog index and home page. That now becomes the home page. And as you can see here, this page, which was my website, is just now a regular page. And I can delete it. So we now have just a blog as a website. And I'm going to carry on from here as that. So my blog post is done. I'm happy with that page. Uh, I don't want anything else on it. And you can see the blog index has got exactly the same information on it, plus the page numbers at the bottom. Now let's just select that. And you can see on the right hand side, it says how many blog posts per page do you want? And I've said five. And the spacing between them, so it's like an index page, I've put 80 pixels. But I don't want all this information on the index page. It's too much. I need a summary. And there are a number of things you can do here. So the first thing you can do is to leave it as it is and just have all the blogs as is on the index page. That's point one. Point two, I can go onto the blog page itself and I can say all I want to show on the index page is the title and the date. So I'm going to switch these items, the picture, the text, and the button. On the right hand side, I, it, there's a button that says show in blog index. Well, I'm going to uncheck that. Now, if we go to our index page, you can see that all that's showing is those items there. Of course, if we preview this, we've only got one button because we've said up to five blog pages would make the first page in the index. But I can click on that and it will take me to my blog. That's the second uh, way of showing your index page is just, let's, let's click on the back to index button, is just the title and the date or whatever you've left switched on on the blog post page. Let's go back to Sparkle. Let's go back to the blog post and I'm going to switch these items back on. So show in blog index. So the third thing you can have on the index. So the first thing was, let's just leave it as it is, show everything. The second thing was how to switch items off on the blog post and leave what you want for the index. The third thing you can do is Let's say we want the title and the date. Maybe we want a little thumbnail and the first sentence of the blog or perhaps even your own text to introduce the page. So what we'll do here, you can see here on the blog post page, there's an extra little icon in the menu here. We can just click on that and we'll customize the index for this blog page. So we'll click on that. And here at the bottom you get, this is the blog post custom summary. And this is where you do your kind of trimming, editing to show what you want on the index page. It's not a duplicate page, but it's a kind of duplicate on screen only page. There's no duplicates in the menus on the left hand side for the page. So you have to remember that you're on the index page. You don't want to start deleting and editing the actual blog page itself. It's a very clever idea. So what we'll do on this page is we will create a small thumbnail. Now what I'm going to do here is just move it over to the left hand side. And we'll edit the text just down to one sentence. Um, it's going to be an intro. Oh, actually, we'll just type in this was the first beach 
in Grenada. See the whole report. Now what you need to do is, first of all we don't need the button, what you need to do is to shorten the text box which held all the text because Sparkle will look at the depth of the page and use that as the depth on the index. So we just keep that to a minimum. In fact, I might even move that up so it's a little bit more in line there. Now, this is my index summary page. Let's go back to the full blog page and it's all still there intact as it was. So now if we preview this, there's my full blog page and I go back to the index and there's my index. So it's looking really good. Go back to Sparkle. Now you may want to add uh, a custom background. Let's add a built-in pattern maybe. Um, we'll scale that up a little bit just for a little bit of texture. So you literally design these pages as you would normal web pages. There's no difference in that at all. Um, now for speed, I can duplicate this page or I can just create a new page. It, it, but for speed, I'm going to um, literally just create a duplicate page. Now I can do that one of two ways. I clicked at the bottom here to duplicate it. Let's undo that. And we go up to the blog thing at the top here and we can add a blog post there. Now that will give you a clean page. But I want to duplicate the page. I'll change the text to this is the second beach in Grenada. And I can alter the date and we'll do that as the 16th. Now, Sparkle will always display in the index page the latest date. So the first item on the index page will always be the most recent date. And then you work down from that. So here we're just going to change the picture. We'll have another beach. Uh, the text can stay the same and the button can stay the same. So I'm building up my blog pages. Now, if you remember, I created an index, uh, a customized index page for this, and I've duplicated that within this page. Now I can change that. I can delete the summary and start again, or I can just go to the summary and edit it. So I would need to place that second image in there, change the text to second, etc etc and we go back to our blog post and to our index page now you can see how it's building up and let's just preview that quickly you play with the spacing if you need a bit more space between the the indexes you change that 80 pixels maybe to 100 or 120 whatever you need to do now i've got two uh, index. I've got two blog posts on my index. Um, let's just quickly create another five or six pages. I won't edit them, but I want to show you how the pagination works. So we'll pop back to Sparkle and we'll just duplicate, 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 duplicate and duplicate. So we now have, well, let's do one more. What, what the hell? So let's preview this. Now you can see we have two buttons, one and two. I'm currently on page two. And if I go to page one, there are my five items. So that's how you set up blog pages in Sparkle. It's nice and easy. Um, there's nothing towards it. They're just normal Sparkle pages. You design them as you want them. And Sparkle does the automating for the blog. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's much easier than people make out. Take your time to design things properly, make sure it all works, and away you go. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you in the next one.